Many parts require more than one process or machining setups to fully manufacture them. This complexity leads to increases in the difficulty and greater potential for increasing the time needed for CAM programming. The setup workflow in PowerML 2023 has had multiple enhancements, giving you more predictable behavior, increased automation, and greater flexibility when programming multiple setups. Looking at this part, which requires two different setups, we can see these enhancements to the setup workflow. To start, work plane behavior has had three changes. The first being to the setup work plane. Previously, when you activated a setup, the assigned work plane was not automatically activated. This has been updated so that when you activate a setup, its work plane does as well, allowing you to quickly identify which plane is being used. Next is to the toolpath work plane. Previously, when you created a new toolpath with the setup active, the setup work plane was automatically assigned, overriding the currently active one, causing you to reselect the correct work plane in the toolpath form. This behavior is now changed so that the current active work plane is applied to the settings when creating a new toolpath. Last is to the creation of NC programs. When creating a program from a setup, the output work plane is now automatically set to the work plane that has been assigned to the setup, reducing the opportunity for errors in generating NC code from the incorrect work plane. Opening the setup form, you can see two additional enhancement features, as there are now options for the machine tool and default thickness for each setup. Let's first review the machine tool selection, where the ability to select the machine and the model location can be added for each setup. This is incredibly useful, as it simplifies the process when simulating multiple setups on one or even more machine tools, as is done here where we're using different machines for operation one and two. As you can see, each time the setup is activated, PowerMill automatically displays the associated model and machine tool. If we then activate a different setup, we can see the PowerMill updates the display once more. Additionally, these are automatically set in the NC form as well when creating a program from a setup. This removes the need to manually reactivate key elements and resulting in a more logical workflow to help reduce the likelihood of error. Next is the default thickness. While this functionality is not new, the ability to have defaults independently assigned to each setup is. This simplifies your thickness form management as previously thickness defaults were assigned globally to the entire project or to each individual toolpath. Opening the thickness form and activating setup op one. We can see that the thickness form contains 10 surfaces that have been set to ignore. If we create a new toolpath with this setup active, it will inherit these thickness settings without the need for us to manually define them again. If we activate OP2, we can see it uses different thickness values. Again, if we created a new toolpath with this setup active, it would automatically use those thickness values. With these enhancements to setups in PowerML 2023, the workflow needed to program parts requiring multiple operations has been simplified shortening the time needed for the CAM programming step of your manufacturing process.